um, yeah, one of the one of the things that we wanted to do this year was jump right into practice, and uh, and we did that. And I thought we did a good job of going from one thing to another, and uh, we got done what we wanted to get done. A lot of pick and roll defense, transition defense, and you know tonight will be more uh, offensive execution. But today was about defense. Is practice very structured now, as opposed to maybe years past when you were coaching, or has it changed in that regard? No, no, it's, <laughs> I've always had structured practice. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, no, I always had a plan, you know. <laughs> I always kind of had an idea what I wanted to do. How would you say it went today as far as execution and uh, conditioning? It was, um, like I said, I thought we got the, we got accomplished what we wanted to get accomplished. We worked a lot on our side pick and roll defense. Um, you know, a lot of things we had been working on in summer league and in the month of September, so it was, a little bit of a refresher, but it was good to go contact four and four, five on five, and and get the team concepts down. But conditioning was good. You know, you're always going to have bumps and bruises. First, first day of practice at training camp is always there's a lot of energy, uh, a lot of enthusiasm. But uh, you know, it's a it's a long month, and we got a long way to go. Uh, Damian said that uh, you had mentioned that you were going to hold the team more accountable this year. What what, what exactly does that entail? Um, you know, you can't. You can't accept certain things. You can't accept, uh, you know, uh, mental mistakes. You can't accept uh, mistakes that you know better. Uh, they need to be pointed out. Uh, they need to be corrected. Um, it's just, you know, at this stage, it's about teaching and and correcting. You know, at some point, whether it's uh, becomes punitive, you know, that's another story. But right now, it, it things you can't let things slide. It's too easy to let things slide. And how much do you do you uh, take that on yourself in the coaching staff? How much do you expect the players to, to self-police that? Uh, you know, that's on our staff. You know, but the veterans players who are able to teach the younger guys, like Lamarcus was helping Myers and Earl was helping Damian, and I think there's you have that built in with your with your team. But ultimately, it's it's me and the coaching staff that uh, that has to get everything get everything on the right page. How nice was it to have that many bodies out there? Well, it was good. Like I said, it was, uh, you know, uh, Mo kind of tweaked his ankle a little bit, but, uh, you know, we had 18 guys, so everybody was able to get their reps in and uh, play at a high intensity, and it was, it was very competitive, and, um, you know, the talent level obviously is, is higher than it was last year. Hey, Coach, are, as far as the defense, are you just looking for better execution this season, or are you making any changes to the philosophy, the approach, or is it just simply a matter of playing better defense? Uh, we're changing our, our philosophy, our, some of our schemes, particularly on pick and rolls. Uh, our emphasis of protecting the rim and not giving up threes, uh, forcing mid-range jump shots. We're going to be more adamant in those fundamental concepts with our defense. And so the schemes that we we're incorporating this year are, lend themselves more to the, that philosophy. How do you guys buy into that? Um, you know that's part of coaching, but uh, ultimately it comes from within. It comes from within them. If uh, you know, buying into defense, buying into the into the process, uh, buying into winning, uh, you buy into that, uh, you end up having a pretty good team. How much of this week is about defense? Well, every contact practice will be uh, a lot about defense. Defense will be uh, in every in every practice, particularly a contact practice. Um, but you know, you have to coach both sides of the ball. So. Uh, you know, it's important that they bring the intensity and the physicality to the defensive practices. And then, uh, you know, the evening practices with offense is more uh, mentally being in tune. Coach, any surprises on the first day? Not really. Good or bad? No, not really. I thought it was, like I said, it was a good practice. And uh, nobody really stood out one way or the other. I thought everybody, uh, everybody played hard. It was, uh, like I said, it was competitive. And it's what you want to see on the first day. I'm